I'm Steve, this is Bit of Munch, and it's pudding time. Or dessert, whatever you want to call it. I very rarely have a traditional pudding or dessert. Very, very rarely. But, but, I got these in the Too Good To Go bag I got recently. Co-op, fruity filling, brownly apple crumbles. And I thought, hmm, they sound good. Original price of these was £2.70. £2.70 for two little tiny crumbles. There's, there's one of them, by the way. Um, I've heated it up. And to go with it, I was going to have some creme fraiche. That, yeah, creme fraiche that, that came in the Too Good To Go bag. But when I opened it, it was all lumpy and didn't look very good. I'm actually recording this the day after I got the Too Good To Go bag. I haven't left it for several days, and that's why it's lumpy, <laughs> in case you're wondering. But yeah, so I've got some Asda, Just Essentials, Custard, which has been lurking in my cupboard for quite a while. I haven't got around to trying it. This was 53p. So, the apple crumble. It says, made with a sweet brown apple filling and a buttery oat crumble. <clears throat> Brownly apple compote topped with a butter enriched oat crumble. Takes one minute in the microwave. Uh, Brownly apple 42%. Oats 8%. Demerara sugar. Blah 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 blah. Right. So I'm going to try these separately and then I'm going to try them together. So let's try. These are. <laughs> pin out the. Out of the microwave for ages, they still feel incredibly hot. That's why I'm holding it by the edge. But let's try a bit of this topping first. See what that's like. Is it how hot is it? Oh, it's not too bad. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very stodgy topping. It's not what you expect an apple crumble to be like. It really isn't. But then it's done in the microwave, isn't it? <clears throat> the taste is okay. It's just it's just sugar, really. But okay, let's dive down <clears throat> and get some of this fruit. Oops. Only get a little bit. Perhaps there's not much in there. There's a bit of the fruit. It's got a bit of a tang to it. So if I try them together, hopefully the tang of that fruit, and the sweetness of the topping, will, I'll just go with it, uh, will balance each other out. I've probably got most of the, uh, the, the um, fruity filling there. Hmm. Yeah, it's what I thought. <laughs> they uh, they do balance each other out. That's quite nice. It's a nice taste together, but it's just that topping. It's just it's just stodge. Hmm. So if I'd paid full price for them, like two pounds seventy for two of them, I'd have been really dis disappointed. I've already frozen the other one, by the way, because. You get two in there, but uh, quite handy that you can freeze them because I don't, I don't want this sort of thing very often. So I've stuck it in my freezer. Probably, <laughs> probably stay in there for months now. Right, let's try this custard. Um, yeah, another spoon. <clears throat> right, can I pick that up? No, not really. Right, oven glove. This custard looks really runny, really runny. Give it a bit of a stir. Quite a lot of a stir, actually. That's better. Yeah, look. That is a thin custard. That is really thin. I know it was only 53 pence, but <clears throat> yeah. 
okay, just essentials. What's your custard like? It's going to be really hot, this. Taste isn't too bad, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just that um, consistency. It's so thin. It's like custard soup. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Look, dropped it down his shirt. Oh well. Yeah, <clears throat> the taste is good of that um, custard. But it's so thin, it really is. Right, let's try them together. I'll stick this uh, apple crumble Get all that fruit out. Apologies for oh, you guys, actually from this angle you can't see the stain on my shirt. I think I better stick that straight in the washing machine when I've uh, finished eating this. So it doesn't stain it permanently. Uh, did you want to know that? <laughs> I've told you anyway. Right. Ha! Ah, I forgot it's hot. <laughs> Hey, here we go. Here we go. Right, try and mix this all together. It may take a while because the stodginess of this topping on the crumble. Actually, that is really thickening it all up. <laughs> Can't lift up very good viewing, I'm sorry, but I've got to do this. I've got to mix it all up. That'll do, that'll do for now. Right, let's try it. Have I got any other topping there? I don't know if I have or not. Yeah, I have now. There we go. So, co-op apple crumble and as the uh, just essentials. <laughs> That's what it's called. Nearly called it smart price then. I think I might have said that earlier, didn't I? I don't know. Custard. It's okay. It's not apple crumble though. That really is not apple crumble. Mm. <clears throat> it's coated my teeth. That stodginess of that crumble topping coating my teeth all the way round here where I've been chewing it. Ah. Well, not much of a success there. I'll finish it because it's been pudding, isn't it? So, <laughs> sorry about that accent. I don't know where that came from. Right, co-op fruity filling from the apple crumble. Don't recommend it because it's got a stodgy topping. As to Smart Price Custard, tastes fine. It really does taste fine, but it is very, very thin. So if you had, if you had, actually, if you had that with a proper homemade apple crumble, it would probably be absolutely fine. But, yeah. Okay, that's what I think of that. I'm going to go and eat the rest of this. And, uh, well, I say never, never have it again. I've got half a tin of the custard left in my fridge in a container and I've got one of the apple crumbles left. Okay, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.